inside of my mouth still tastes all... Uh, I mean, coffee's meant to be taken black, don't you think? It's the only way to experience the natural taste of the beans. The one from Brazil is very smooth, while the Kilimanjaro one is more sour and full-bodied. <laughs> I read about it in a book. I also learned how to brew it and stuff. But it doesn't taste much different from the instant type. I wonder if the beans aren't good quality. Anyways, sorry for the sudden invite. But they say that drinking coffee can help you relax and concentrate better. I just thought something like that might benefit us in our upcoming battles. And I figured if I could learn to make good coffee, people might find that useful. I'll do some more research. I can tell there's room for improvement. Sorry for asking you to help me clean up, too. Please, take the leftovers with you. Although, you might not necessarily like it. Sure, I'd prefer my coffee to taste good, but I could do without all the test sips. Um, it's not that I don't appreciate the flavor, it's just that it's not good for an elementary school kid to drink too much, so... And you seem like someone who'd appreciate a good cup of coffee, like from a cafe. I hope you have another cup the next time I make some. I'll make sure it tastes better by then. <laughs> well then, good night. Alright, let's see about the drink coffee. This is decaf. Morning. Yeah. It's because Jun has seen her as a friend, regardless of any of that, he's seen her as a friend. After my 
five dots. I could be wrong. Welcome back. Looks like Chidori still ain't back yet. I get it's her own fault for running off on her own, but she's still one of us, you know? We gotta help her somehow. Don't be impatient, Jin. If she hasn't yet freed herself in her revolt taken, our first objective must be to retrieve it. It would mean nothing to free Chidori without it. It's our persona. We should wait for an opportunity. They found their own navigator, their own set of eyes. Without Chidori, we'd only be playing into their hands. Yeah. Gaia. Sorry I lost my cool there for a second. But what are we gonna do? They took down that shadow during the last full moon like it was nothing. If they got someone who can predict our moves, it'll be hard to catch him off guard. <sighs> yes, that's true. By the way, what is that thing? It looks like some kind of clunky evoker. This is one of the first evokers ever developed. I suppose you could call it a prototype. Oh, that's right. You've never seen this before, have you, Jin? <laughs> this was truly a terrible piece of work. In exploring out the full extent of a persona's latent power, the cost is that they become exceedingly difficult to control. Especially for those who had their power forced upon them, like ourselves. To a persona that has lost control, the user is but a shackle. In those days, it was more commonplace to be killed by our own personas than by the shadows. This was the result of one such killing. I am a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. So... That's why you don't use an evoker? Hardly. The real reason is far more practical. I don't use one because I have no need. I don't require something as inelegant as a tool to prove my resolve. You really are something special, Takaya. Yet, there is always someone out there who is even greater. Such as... One who can wield multiple personas. Ah. Am I feeling attachment for someone? <laughs> Impossible.
such a thought is beneath me. What do you think, Yamagishi? Do you sense anything? No. <sighs> By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't trying to keep you hostage. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Shidori? You're back again. Why are you so hung up on her, Junpei? Did she say anything? Not a word. Let me talk to her. Yori, you're getting really emotionally invested in this. Is everything all right? Well, I know she attacked me, but I don't know. I, I just can't get her out of my head. Please, let me do this. Call for desperate measures, I suppose. All right, see if you can get through to her. Got it. You okay? <sighs> I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. Wow, you're still drawing pictures, even in the hospital? You really do like to draw, huh? It doesn't matter. She spoke to him. Only I can understand my drawings. Wait, Chidori! Your arm, it's bleeding! Duh, not again! Yamagishi, get the doctor. Are you bleeding? She does it to herself. I thought I took all the sharp objects in here. She did this to herself? Apparently, we can't leave her unattended for even a moment. But at the very least, she seems to heal at an astonishing rate. Let, let go of me! And cut on your hand back at the station. You did that to yourself? I never asked for you to worry about me. You were the one who jumped to conclusions. Well, I want you to stop. You can't be doing that. I'm not just saying this because I'm worried about you. I don't want to see you hurting yourself. All right? The doctor will be here soon. You should head back. Right. So, you seem to have found your voice.
sorry, man, but I've got to pass this time. I'm just so torn. I really do want to hang out with you. No, no time for ramen today. I gotta go check out that cram school. I mean, getting into college is pretty important, don't you think? You think about the future too, right? What? You don't need to be a dick about it. I never really thought about my future until Emiri told me I should. She said I'd end up a loser if I didn't. But the future's a long way off. I mean, I still have to go to college first, right? Apparently, a bunch of Emiri students go to good colleges. She must be thinking about our future together. You ought to think about your future too, man. I'd hate to see you end up becoming a loser, you know? That's why we gotta work our asses off for our futures. Later, I'm heading to cram school. I don't got a feeling he thinks he's in a relationship, but he's not in a relationship. Welcome back. Can I help you? Uh, well, I'm okay. Why are you asking? You aren't worried about me, are you? If so, thank you, but I'm totally fine. I'll do that. Caring, senpai. Thanks for going out of your way to check on me. I'll do my best not to worry you. Well then, good night. Okay. Come to think of it, I haven't had dinner yet. I should probably eat something. Um, senpai? You wouldn't happen to be hungry, would you? Welcome! Take any open seat. <sighs> He's not here. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Sorry for asking you to go out all of a sudden. I just wanted someone to come with me. It's a little intimidating going to get food by myself. People tend to stare when they see an elementary school kid like me out on his own. Your order? Two specials coming right up. Seems like that's the thing to get, huh? Thanks for ordering. So, I saw some people from our dorm stop by here a while back. Like Sonata-san and that guy who recently joined, Aragaki-san. Do you come here with them too? What kind of... Oh, sorry for asking something so weird. I just thought I should know a bit more about everyone, since we'll be fighting together from now on. But it's good either way, because I've always wanted to have a proper chat with you. Everyone in the dorm is amazing, but you're on a completely different level. I 
can't believe how many personas you're able to use. Here you are. Ikutsuke-san and Mitsuru-san said that each person normally has only one persona, and that it doesn't change. That means what I saw back then was really... Uh, it's nothing. Sorry. Shall we eat? Oh, I finished all the soup, too. I'm stuffed. Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, the Melancholy of Swallow, will air this winter as a TV special. Huh? Wow, a spinoff with Swallow as the main character. I gotta make sure I record that. for an ongoing superhero series. And it's with Feather Swallow. Out of the five members, he's the one you'd least expect. Uh, I, uh, heard that from a friend. TV shows like that seem to be popular in my class. I only watch them, so I have something to talk about. <laughs> anyway, it's been a while since I've enjoyed a meal like this. I guess it's because I'm eating with you. You're really easy to talk to, and the ramen was delicious. Maybe next time we can... Um, it's nothing. It's getting late. We should start heading back. It was delicious. No, this food was not delicious. Don't let yourself think like that. You on your way home? Mm, us too. We just finished eating dinner. Oh, are you from the same class, amata -kun? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Oh yeah, Amada, you gotta join next month's soccer tournament. We've all been waiting for you, you know? We can even practice together after school. I'll have to pass. I'm not even sure if I could make it next month. Aw, oh, come on! We can't win without you! You're better than all of us! You can't pressure someone like that. Can't you see you're bothering him? I'm sure amata has a lot going on. Isn't that right? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm sorry. Please excuse us. You should hurry home, too, amata -kun. Home. Come on, let's get going. Your grandma is waiting for us. But, Mom, if Amata doesn't <sighs> Sorry join about us, that. we're gonna get totally free. <sighs> no, it's not that. Sorry about the uh, noises, guy. My throat is like... Sore. I just have enough to do. The second semester has already started, and we have to go to Tartarus at night. I know we'll be going through a lot from now on, so I decided to not make any promises. More importantly, sorry for keeping you out so late. Let's make our way back to the door.
goodness. Um. Oh, I forgot to mention, during lunch break today, that girl was trying to bother me again. You remember, right? She's the one who put gum on my shoe locker. Well, this time, I told her what I thought right to her face, that she should find what she really wants to do in life. She probably didn't get what I was saying, but ever since I figured it out for myself, I feel like I've been able to see the bigger picture. I mean, I kinda used to be the same as her, you know? I guess I've learned how to empathize better now. Not to mention, you did end up becoming my boyfriend, so... But, uh, that's not why I invited you here. I guess I could have told you this next part at school, but I wanted to talk somewhere quiet. D don't be so impatient! I'm getting to that. Oh, why am I the one panicking now? So you know the kids we coached? They each left a message for us. I know they were kind of a handful. They also have an endearing side to them, don't you think? Oh, you're so sweet. Sometimes I can't believe how open-minded you are. I think I need to learn from you. Here, this one's for you. The kids told me to give it to my boyfriend. <laughs> Aren't they cute? That's what I invited you here for. Well, actually, that was just an excuse. Because today, well, my parents aren't home, so. Yeah, so, um, I, I just mean you can stretch out and relax. <laughs> we won't get yelled at for being too noisy. <laughs> It's just, I was able to find my true calling thanks to you. I'm so glad I met you. Those are my true feelings, and I hope you feel the same. So, will you stay with me a while longer? Thank you. 
attention, please. So that's why. your new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. I don't remember asking you to do that, Junpei. <laughs> you finally called me by my name. I wasn't sure if you'd ever say it again. Hmm. Any luck? She finally started talking. But she hasn't said anything useful so far. Well, it's a start. More of a response than we got from her. So, why are you here? <coughs> Shidori, what's wrong? Uh, uh, uh. What is that? There's something right there. An enemy? Wrong. Move. <sighs> Shinori! Relax. The persona just went berserk. It happens. It happens. Weren't you guys watching? You could see her persona strangling her for a second. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants. To keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? Wait. Do you know something about Strega? Some things you only pick up stepping off the straight and narrow. I'll give the duck the meds I have. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait! Hey! Uh. I... Junpei? Oh, thank God. I thought you were gonna die. What do you mean? Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you talking about? Dying just means you won't wake up tomorrow. That's all. What the hell are you saying? You don't really mean that, do you? Junpei? I don't want that. You hear me, Chidori? I don't want you to die. Junpei. It doesn't matter if you're not afraid. It's not the point. I don't want to have to live in a world without you. <laughs> you're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, wait! Shinji! <clears throat> What the hell's going on? Why did you have those suppressants? <sighs> I've heard about what they do. They're taken to rein in a persona when the user can't control it. But the side effects... <sighs> I 
You're not taking it, are you? <sighs> Answer me! I don't have to tell you shit. Why are you always like this? Save it. I've heard it all before. You think I'm wasting my power. You can't stand the sight of someone so half-assed, right? I'm sick of your damn preaching. <sighs> Shit. You don't understand at all. You should already know. Ten years ago, when the orphanage burned down, I couldn't save my sister. Back then, I wasn't strong enough to get past the adults holding me back to even try. <sighs> That's why I try so hard. I thought you felt the same way. We promised each other to become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why? Why'd you start taking those drugs without telling me? I'm back in the fight now. I have no reason to suppress my persona anymore. So just let it go. Damn it. And the side effects. Hmm. There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. I gotta take responsibility. What do you mean? Listen. Quit worrying about me. Just do what you think is right. Got that? Shinji. Yeah, I mean...